Hello, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 100 items that have sold recently to make me a little over, well, I'll say a little over, closer to $2,500, but I went ahead and put two grand in the title uh, because you didn't want to see $22,033.21 probably. So these are about 100 items that sold to make me uh, a little over two grand. And this would be just in the last couple weeks um, since probably my last my last update, which I don't remember the exact date of. Um, so anyway, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling mom uh, of homeschooled kids. I have a partner now who also is reselling with me, Juan, who most of you have met if you've been watching uh, the, the channel lately. So if you're interested, you like learning about uh, reselling, picking things up from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, free items to flip to make a profit. And maybe you're interested in becoming a full-time reseller or just wanting to supplement your income, then this is definitely the place for you because we share a variety of different things that we do to make money so that, that we can support ourselves doing just this and being our own bosses. So I'd love to have you. And if you are watching live, hello in the chat. And if you're watching later, leave me a comment and let me know that you are here. If you are watching live, I'm going to wait till the end to jump into the chat. Um, just in case, you know, if somebody's watching later, they just want to see what uh, items have sold. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had one more announcement. What was it? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, Juan and I are going to be coming live tomorrow evening to talk about uh, the comics that we got, the comics and magazine big score that we got a few weeks back. Uh, some of those items you'll see today in the sales, uh, but we wanted to talk a bit about um, about all of that in our process because it was a huge lot. It was really overwhelming and we've just been chipping away at it and we really came up with a good process. Uh, so I thought we would, we, or we thought we would come on tomorrow evening and share that with you. And if you don't, you know, if you don't know, we like to do giveaways. So we've been doing some really fun giveaways uh, on the channel lately. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow, hit that notification bell, because we don't know exactly what time, um, probably in the six, seven o'clock range, uh, but we've been giving away some fun stuff. So uh, hello, hello. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Again, these are items, and I did, I did say on eBay, but technically these have sold on all the platforms I sell on. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. These are all going to be sales that are shipped out, not the local sales. Yesterday, Juan and I did a video together um, where we talked about the, we made uh, about $2,000 in two days just with local sales over the weekend. And so we shared all that stuff yesterday. So if you're interested, go check that video out. But these are all things that we shipped out um, on those different platforms. And I just realized my computer's about to die. Um, why? Are you going to plug this? It does not. Pardon me, y'all. I had the wrong one plugged in. There we go. All right. That would really cause problems in just a second. Um, where was I? So yeah, these are all items that got shipped out. And the reason I have all these different platforms is because if I just limited myself to one selling platform, that would really limit my ability to make a good income. So if you're thinking of doing this full time or really just want to ramp up and make more money, you might want to consider selling as many different platforms as you can. I use List Perfectly to cross post. I have a link in the description box down below. You can get 30% off if you're interested. Use my link. And yeah, that's it. So this helps me, you know, diversify, get it on a lots of platforms for lots of buyers. All right, let's jump in. Why do I feel like I'm going to yawn now? Okay, so first item here, this was one of the items that we got in that big magazine and comic lot, which we'll talk more about tomorrow, but this is a National Lampoon's magazine and it sold for $20. So this was the asking price over here. This is the, the price that I, I took an offer on. Uh, and we, we bought the whole lot, well over 500 probably comics for $65, comics, magazines and stuff. Uh, so this is that from that lot. I bought all those buttons and pinbacks for $25 a while back. These have been selling, you know, they're, some of them are bigger sales, some are smaller sales, but, uh, and at first I thought maybe this was a really bad idea, but I've probably made over $800 on that tub of buttons. I was keeping a log and I finally just stopped because it was getting overwhelming, but I had when I stopped on the spreadsheet with the, the pins, it was already over $600. So certainly now it's well over $800. So that $25 uh, tub of buttons has really brought a good return. 
Uh, this was also in the comics. This was a Mid American program book that uh, was pretty chewed up. The cover was was pretty. Let's see if I can make it bigger for you. And it sold for fifty one dollars. Uh, you might see a number of these red aspen nail dashes, which are like these the fake nails um, in this. And they're actually I I quit adding them in, you know, because it was just screenshot after screenshot because I sold so many of them. Uh, so they're, if you go back and you're like, that wasn't a hundred items. Well, there were a lot of these that I didn't add in because it was just going to be repetitive. So um, I was selling these, you know, not selling them, but I had a link and I mean, I still have a link for it, but I liked them. But then when you are selling them, you can get points to get free nails. And so I was getting all these free nails and I just had them in the closet and finally decided I'm going to list them. And so uh, they've been selling. So that's what's going on here. So these sold for $16. I took an offer on this uh, Harry Potter Lego set uh, for $50. This was new. The box was a little bit mangled, but uh, definitely a good profit on that one. I think this was actually given to me. So I didn't have any money into this. This was a fire from a firefly. Oh, there goes the, oh, I don't know if the internet went out. The, we just had a flicker in our power. Okay. Hopefully let me know if you still see me crossing fingers. Um, but this was from a firefly loot crate. So loot crates like a, like those geek boxes. And sometimes they're just a mix of stuff, but sometimes you can get like Harry Potter ones or Marvel and firefly was a show I really enjoyed. And so I was getting the firefly loot crates and then decided what am I going to do with all this stuff? So started selling it. So these sold for seven, this sold for $17.99. This is a Vampirella. This was also from the, the lot of comics that we got. And this sold for $25, this one Vampirella. And then trying to get it to move to the next one. Here we go. Uh, this is a Yeti, clearly a Yeti ball cap. And uh, Juan got a bunch of these Yeti hats for $5 a piece. And they've just been selling steadily. So this one we sold for $35. The reason I had it up for $70 is because it was a pretty scarce one. And there were, oh, I think I only saw one other one up there. But when we got the offer for $35, at that point, we'd already made quite a bit of profit on the hats already. So we decided to go ahead and take the offer for $35 on that. Finally, one of these Ray Dunn mugs sold. Uh, I picked these up recently at a Goodwill. And they were pretty reasonably priced. Um, and But this one sold for $20. You had me at Meow. Another one of my buttons from my button lot. So this is uh, Here Lies Beetlejuice. Uh, this sold for $12.50. And then this necklace I've had for a really long time also given to me. This sold for $42. And then another item from the Firefly Loot Crate. Um, so this is one of, this is an example of, you know, hey, go through your stuff. You know, do you have things in your house that you're just like sitting on? Like, what am I doing? This is in the box. It's just sitting in the, on the shelf. You know, hey, I can flip this. So this sold for 22 bucks. Um, you guys in the chat, I'm going to come jump in. If you're just now getting here, I'm going to jump into the chat at the uh, at the end. So if you have any questions and pop them in there. So I, I'm not ignoring your promise. I see you. I see you. Hello. Next up, this sold. I got this at an estate sale. Um, it's a brooch and it sold for $19.99. This was also, this is a leather football keychain. And it was also in the, the pin back and the button lot that I got. So there were some keychains in there as well. So this sold for $10. Those, those sales just really start adding up those little $10, $8. So I, especially when I get a big lot like that, I, I don't turn my nose up at, at a $5 profit or a $7 profit, you know, especially if it's over and over and over, super easy to take pictures of front, back, you're done. Yeah, we're good. <sighs> I was trying to buy some clothes to sell. I got these, a big tub of Levi's jeans at a garage sale for $3 a pair. I think it ended up being like 30 bucks for a tub full of, I think there were like 15 jeans in there. <sighs> okay. I think we sold two of them and, but they just take up so much space. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let me know if you're clothes sellers. Do you, would you have bought that? If you bought, found a big tub of Levi's jeans for 30 bucks, like 15 pairs of jeans. I mean, cause it worked out to be $2 a pair, but whatever. These sold for $15. Good riddance. <laughs> and then this is, I, I love picking up, you know, unusual things. This was a little fish uh, drawing that somebody had done and framed and it sold for $30. This we got free. So at a garage sale, they were, they were giving away all of these like stacks of phone cases and iPad cases. 
And they were just like, take what you want. And so we took them and they have been selling. So this is one that sold for $25. Another pin sold for $5. Another pin sold for 12. Being sexy is a hard job, but someone has to do it. Another pin, this one sold for $16. This is from the movie Summer School. Uh, again, with the nail dashes, these sold for $13. So if you've got things that, like I said, you know, maybe you were selling something, you just have it kind of like piled up somewhere. I mean, just take, take stock of what you've got that you don't use or that's laying around and definitely um, try selling those things as well. More nail dashes, these sold for $25. I mean, and also, you know, you might come across, you might think, why are you showing me this? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm never going to find that, but you never know. You might come across a, a person who sold stuff and ju they just have a lot of these left or, you know, like the fake nails, uh, you might see a, t a tub of them at a garage sale and maybe otherwise maybe walk by them. But now, you know, Oh, Margaret sold some of these for 25 bucks, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, and this is a soap dish, a little, um, Mexican style pottery soap dish that sold for $25 more nail dashes. These sold for 16, they sold for 15. I think you get the picture. Do you see after a while I was like, this is getting repetitive. I'm not going to keep taking the pictures for this $20 on those. Okay. So these were really fun. These were, um, this was from a lot of Simpsons posters, like mini posters that I got at a garage sale. They were from a book. This is the fun start part of the story. They were from a poster book and the person had torn them all out of the poster book. And I guess maybe they had some of them up and they sold me this stack of the posters for five dollars now i went to look to see how much the book this is take note sometimes parting things out is worth more than the original thing so let's say you find the poster book of the simpsons posters but it's all intact and you might be tempted just to sell that book as is but when i looked it up that book was like maybe selling for 25 30 dollars for the the whole book right but if you think, let me take these out, let me see, let me sell them each individually, then you can make way more money. So this sold for $17.99, another $17.99, $17.99, guess what? $17.99, one after the other on these posters. And if they had been in the book, I might have been tempted to just, oh, you know what? I'm not going to tear these out. I'm going to sell the book as it is. But no, it's worth... Um, parting them out on that, in that case. There you go. Okay. So next up, this M brooch sold for $14.99. Um, this little glass egg sold for $17.99, cut glass egg. I found this light uh, at a garage sale and I've been using it to take pictures of uh, my, my um, glass paperweights, but I do put in my description, you know, light not included, you know, base light not included or whatever, because I just use it to add a little oof to my pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these earrings sold for $30. Actually, I got a message from the buyer a couple weeks ago, a week ago, um, and they were wanting a refund and they just wanted me to ref. I mean, they were, they didn't beat around the bush. They were like, first of all, they said, these are way too heavy for my ears. Note the first word in this title, heavy. Um, these are way too heavy for my ears. Uh, I want my money back. And, and they just were like, give me my money back, period. Like not, I want to refund. Let me send them back. I was just like, well, the way this works is you send them back to me. And if they're in the right condition, the condition I send them to you, and then I'll give you your money back. Um, but I haven't heard anything since they haven't opened a return or it was just like, <laughs> they're too heavy. Give me my money back. Uh, uh, this uh, resin or yeah, this pendant sold for $15. More nail dashes, the fingernail, the, the the nails, $13. This mug sold. I still enjoy selling mugs. As you can see, I'm, I'm rebuilding my mug stash over here. Because um, there, there can be good money in mugs as well if you can get them cheap enough. Uh, and this sold for $25 to Sherlock Holmes. This sold too recently. I really, I was tempted to keep it. I liked it so much. But I, I went ahead and sold it. Sort of like a ring trinket tray. Um, sold for $25. And then a tie bar sold. I had this tie bar for like a million billion years. I bought a lot of uh, tie bars and cufflinks and accessories. That was like my dip. And when I, before I started selling, reselling jewelry, I started with 
men's accessories because it was kind of like, okay, I understand this. I know how to describe these things. And then I slowly started, you know, getting more into selling other types of jewelry as well. But men's accessories were my, my gateway <laughs> into selling jewelry. Then this Toledo Damascene brooch sold for $25. I know I'm probably going fast, but that's okay, right? Uh, the next item, okay, this was a free item. Uh, the, a guy had put a bunch of stuff out on the curb and posted on, I don't know, it was Craigslist or something. And we saw the picture and we went for the baby gate because we're really, if you watched our video yesterday, we talk about selling baby gates um, locally because you can make good money on them. Like, oh my gosh. There's 20 bucks sitting on the curb, basically, is when I see a baby gate for free. I'm like, there's $20. Thank you. So I went over there just for the baby gate. And I actually did a video showing all the stuff that we ended, I ended up bringing home because there were tubs and tubs and tubs of stuff. And there were those nice black tubs with the yellow lids that you can get at like Home Depot for like $15 a tub. So the tubs were included. There was like a plastic, big plastic foot locker. And there was like Halloween decorations and like all of these motorcycle parts and, and, I was just like, what? Throwing it all into the van. Okay, it's coming home with us. Uh, so this sold. That was in that lot of stuff. And I, I don't know anything about motorcycle parts, but I could look it up and see what it's selling for. And it sold for $8. And this plush, uh, plush, I don't know how to pronounce it, sold for $27.99. Got that at Goodwill. This Block Mania Judge Dredd magazine comic book um, sold for $24. So this was also in that lot that we got. Um, so as you can see already made the money back from the $65 that we spent on the, the comics and magazines. So this cursed earth, again, another judge dread went to the same buyer, I believe, uh, for $7. And then this is a really nice picture frame that sells very heavy, had a wood back and it sold for $30. This was another one of those free phone cases from that lot. I was telling you with the iPad case that sold a minute ago. Um, this one sold for $7. And then this is a National Lampoon sexy cover issue. This was, again, guess what, from our lot of magazines and comics that we got. And it sold for $24. Mad Magazine, this one sold for $15. Again, same thing from that lot. Uh, and we are going to talk tomorrow about all that, how, like, how we went about processing all of these magazines and comic books and figuring out pricing and figuring out because we we're not professional like this is not our area of expertise we don't know how to grade comics and uh, magazines so some people are very you know comic book collectors can be very particular and so it's really you know again we'll talk about that more tomorrow but we were really trying to make sure that we did it right so that we had ourselves covered um in 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 any way that someone might be unhappy Okay. Next up, this uh, brass panda, I guess paperweight figurine sold for $15. I think I got that at Goodwill for a couple bucks. I got two of them. And then again, more nail dashes fit $14. They're pretty steady sellers. These are sold for $20, $25, $17. Yeah, I was I was doing this I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna keep sharing all of them. $22. These are cute little Halloween ones, 20 bucks. This little cast iron mermaid sold for $11. This was pretty small too. She was a little one. And more nails. Oh, this is $60 on here, but she bought, I think, three, three sets of nails from me. Yeah. Uh, $13, $15. You get the picture. Uh, $16. I, I know. I was like, I did finally was like, this is ridiculous. I've got to stop. Okay. 20 bucks, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, 16 bucks. Okay. Another phone case sold. Let's get through the nails. Uh, this phone case sold for $6. Again, this was free to us from a garage sale. Another one sold for $8. And this, this was actually one of the items that was in the tub from the, the, the on the curb stuff, the Halloween stuff I was saying was in one of the tubs. Um, this skull, light up skull was in the tub and I was so excited about it. I didn't even take the picture the normal ways on, on the chair in my living room. I was like, I just want to light it up. Oh, it looks so cool. Snap, snap, snap. It's like, I'm using this picture. So that's over $24. There's money on the curbs, y'all. There's free money. Go get it, right? Another Yeti hat sold. Remember, um, Juan bought all these Yeti hats for $5 a piece. This sold for $36. Uh, this is one of my kids going through their stuff. 
Um, and so my, my kids have been taking pictures, um, product po um, photos, got them trained to do that. So they can take pictures of their stuff or if they want to make some extra money, like money up front, then they can take pictures of my stuff. So that that's what some, um, so one of my kids has been doing that, but this was one of my kids items sold for $14. And then these I got in the bins. They are weighted sterling silver candlestick holders, and they, they sold for fifteen dollars. Yeah, I got them. I got those in the bins. Another National Lampoon's magazine sold from our lot. That's sold for seventeen dollars. Another one, National Lampoon's again, sold for seventeen dollars. Uh, these are some boots that I got at a garage sale for a dollar, and they they've been sitting on them for a while. Uh, my shoes are slow sellers. I don't think I know what I'm doing. I need some more. I need some more studies in that. Uh, but these sell for twenty dollars, so still a really good profit. More nails, fifteen dollars. Here's another one of these iPad covers. This was a freebie. Um, sold for twenty five dollars. You know, I love free nails. Twelve dollars. This little bunny rabbit. I couldn't resist. I think. What did I say? Oh, down here in my inventory notes. I bought it for a buck fifty, um, and it sold for nineteen dollars. And then these are the boots. Did I tell you guys this story? I think I did. We went to that garage sale. I think you, we've, you've probably heard the first part of it at least. Um, Juan and I went to this garage sale and they had all these red wing boots. And I don't know anything about this. Um, we get back in the car. She she has these three pairs out that she wants $200 for. I'm like, forget it. Um, we get back in the car and Juan's like, go back, go back. We got to go get those boots. So we go back and all three pairs of boots sold really quickly. But then like two days after the garage sale, he was like, she had another pair, Margaret. I want to go to her house and knock on the door and ask her for the other pair. I was like, you're out of your mind. Nobody does this. You don't go to the house after like two days after the garage sale. Knock, knock, knock. Do you have those boots still? He did it though. He did. He went to the garage sale. Sorry, I got blurry because I knocked on the thing. Hang on. Let me see if I can make it not blurry. Come on, focus. You're going to focus on me? No, it's still focusing up close. Ah, okay, forget it. Um, It'll focus in a second. Knocked on the door, asked the lady if she still had the boots. Sure enough, she did. She's like, I want 60 bucks for them. And he was like, mm, we'll see. And then we left, right? Uh, and then, you know, he got the number. And so then she kept texting him you know, how about 50, you know? And so he, he ended up going back and buying these boots. Like, all right, ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Uh, let's see if it's decided to focus on me now. No, I wonder why it's doing that. Hello, camera. It, I messed it up, I guess, when I put my hand, oh, there we go. Now it's like, oh yeah, okay. All right, so this is a Samsung um, VR headset. This I got this for free also at the same garage sale that I got all the, the phone cases. They had this for free as well. Nice freebie, free item. Uh, I bought this, I can't remember where, uh, but sold it for $30. And I've been selling some lots of stuff off too, lots of jewelry. And this sold for 30 bucks. This was all like uh, jewelry making stuff in that lot. And then this was just another D stash that I sold for 25 bucks, over eight pounds of jewelry. Uh, Lego, this sold for $12. Another button sold for 16. Another button sold for seven. So these lots of things can really start adding up on the profits. So it's definitely worth looking into if you get a bunch of stuff for, for a small amount of money. Um, seven bucks on that, six dollars on that, six dollars on this button. Uh, here's another Mad Magazine that sold for $20. Uh, this sold and it's a Halloween, I mean, not Halloween, but Valentine's thing. Maybe they're getting it for Mother's Day. I'm not sure. It's pugs and kisses and it like it barks and dances around when you push the button on it. And this sold for $45. Another vampire rail is sold for $20. And then these glasses, we just got them last weekend. Um, so I haven't really been picking up or doing a lot with vintage glasses like I used to. I used to sell a lot of them. But I just, I don't know, even though I'm not finding them, I'm just not picking them up. But I got these, bought them for 50 cents or a dollar at a garage sale just like this past weekend. And they sold for $41.99. Yes. 
Okay. So I'm going to do this over here. Okay. If you're, if you're watching later and you're done and you don't want to see me talk to the chat and answer questions and stuff, I appreciate you coming. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos or when Juan and I go live. Uh, and I appreciate you being here. I'm going to jump in the chat, see if there's any questions. And here we go. So hello, everybody. Hello, Vicki. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Chris. Hello, Karen. How are you doing? Hello, Lydia. And hello, Fabulously Thrifty. Hello, hello, everybody. You're in Texas, too. Sweet. Hello. Oh, it is Cinco de Mayo. And we went to eat at Pollo Rico today. So I, I got my I got my carne asada today. So we're good. Hello, Ice Fly Queens. How's it going? But I'm living with Juan, so it's Cinco de Mayo every day. <laughs> We were joking about that earlier. Hello. Yes, they are. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Uh, you see me? Okay. And I love selling coffee mugs. Always plenty of pickings at my Goodwill. Yeah, I got some nice coffee mugs this weekend. Um, they're the Starbucks, like, kind of like you are here, or I was there. I don't remember what they're called. Um, I haven't even looked them up yet, but the, I have one personally that I really like. So I think I'm going to grab these. I don't see any questions, but I'm glad you guys came, and I'm glad I got to say hi to you. But definitely come back tomorrow because... We are, if you were watching last night, you know, we found these, uh, we told the story of, of the dolly cakes and frostings and we were giving some away last night um, with some of the mugs. We found some mama bear mugs and then we also have the Texas gal uh, mugs that, that Juan had made up for us to give away. So we're going to be doing a giveaway tomorrow night as well. I think he really enjoys that a lot. So um, if you're here tomorrow night, then stay tuned because we're probably going to do, I think what we're ready, we're going to do it is we're going to give two things away. One of the questions is going to be from a video we've done before. So you'll have to have watched all the videos. And then the other one will probably be like trivia or some fun thing that anybody can Google fast enough to, <laughs> to find the answer for. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just found out the mugs are only 50 cents. So I'll be looking at, oh yeah, definitely. There's, there's definitely some money to be made in mugs. They're not always quick sellers, but they're steady. Uh, when I, you know, when I had more mugs, they were pretty steady sellers. I sell one or two a week. So I don't mind it. All right. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night because we're really going to dive deep into all the comics and magazines because there's a lot of money to be made there. If Even if you don't know what you're doing, which is me and Juan, and we figured it out. So we're going to show you what we figured out. All right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.